What's going on there guys? Good morning, good afternoon out there. It's the Earthmaster here on this Thursday, November 3rd, 2022 date. It's about uh, 12.45 p.m. California time and latest quake on the globe here shows a 3.5 earthquake over here around the uh, kind of looks like the northern end of the Java Trench, about 10 kilometers deep for that earthquake. Also getting a little cluster of earthquake activity just south of the border uh, just south of the uh, Southern California region. Let's go ahead and check that out here on the flat scale map. Looks like it is centered around the Baja California area. Off of the plate boundary, uh, we have been seeing a little bit of uptick in movement throughout the Southern California area recently. Kind of keeping an eye on this. A couple threes here in the last hour. Uh, and some variable depths there. In, anywhere between 8 to 20 kilometers below the surface for a... Uh, for these earthquakes largest one so far a 3.5 in that cluster of earthquakes there just south of the border and in the looks like around the borrego springs area got a 1.1 here within the last hour as well uh, there's a little bit of movement there on the imperial fault and also some activity up here on the north american side of the plate boundary that came in late last night 2.4 uh, just shy of the san andreas fault here just off of that segment a little bit of movement on that uh, southern branch here, uh, specifically within this zone. This one coming in earlier this morning time frame, uh, 1.1 and a 1.3. So definitely some noticeable increase in activity in some definitely hazardous areas as far as seismic activity could be or could go as far as the larger activity that's you know possible here on this zone. Southern branch of the San Andreas Fault uh, is definitely a ticking ticking away down here around the park field area actually this is the um uh, let's see which segment this is just off of the uh, park field park fields up here a little bit further north but uh, 1.8 on the san andreas fault here 12.8 kilometers below the surface a little bit of movement outside of the ridgecrest area today as well uh, including one near coso junction probably out there around the uh, looks like it's in the mountainous areas out here uh, further up the state, a little spotty activity along the creeping segment of the San Andreas Fault here. And also one earthquake north of Napa coming in within the last hour. A 1.3 at uh, 3.5 kilometers deep. Uh, Clear Lake Volcanic Field, very typical there with the uh, ongoing operations of the hydrothermal uh, business. Up north, uh, further up north in Oregon, looks like some activity around the Newberry volcano a couple earthquakes showing up here on the very microquake level but uh, they have listed them up there we'll check out that uh, seismograph here in a little bit one earthquake here around the blanco fracture zone a 3.5 well off the coast of oregon and off the uh, cascadia subduction zone here along this um, again this fracture area a lot of times we do see some movement here in this region uh, 3.5 for now, 10 kilometers deep into the Pacific Northwest here in Washington. Looks like a little bit of activity around our volcanoes again. Mount Rainier, Mount St. Helens, just a small microquake activity, uh, which sometimes, which is pretty much average uh, on any given day throughout the area. Haven't really seen any major uptick, any major swarm or any D, uh, GPS displacement up there. A little bit of activity out around the Strait of Juan de Fuca as well, off the coast there of Oak Harbor. A couple small microquakes in the region. The uh, rest of the country looks like Yellowstone National Park. They've added a couple of the earthquakes that we've seen over the last 24 hours on there. I uh, do want to bring up the Yellowstone overview here, the raw data, and take a look at some of this activity that kicked up uh, overnight. A couple earthquakes there. Uh, and a few more overnight and this morning time frame. So it looks like this uh, little swarm is still continuing, although over the last couple hours, things seem to have been mellowed out a little bit here across the area. Uh, rest of the country here, looks like Texas and uh, maybe one out here around the New Madrid zone. That one coming in late last night, looks like 2.0 on the New Madrid zone. Uh, let's see, around the Caribbean plate, not a whole lot popping off there today. Uh, we got one earthquake up here. In the last um, couple hours, 
right smack dab on the Puerto Rico Trench, uh, 3.9 at 47 kilometers deep. Watch that area. South America region, and looks like some movement along the Peru Chile Trench today from about the northern section down to the uh, southern section here. Nothing deep, just a couple fours down there at about 37, 59 kilometers deep or so. Nothing major. Uh, some further movement overnight early this morning, about 2 o'clock in the morning. 4.7 there in the South Sandwich Trench area. Uh, this one's starting to get a little deep, 107 kilometers into the subduction zone there. Uh, up into the Alaska region, looks like another typical day. No major swarms, no major unusual activity. Just uh, some microquakes scattered out and about the land up there in the beautiful state of Alaska. Uh, along the big islands, seeing a little bit of uptick around the Mauna Loa area once again. This thing's been uh, kind of making the news recently, and I think it will be making the news in a big way here soon. Uh, looks like... Just for now, though, about 10 earthquakes up there around the summit level. And also down there, I uh, did see a couple deeper ones, at least one deep one here in this mix, little cluster here, uh, showing some magma movement potentially here on this area of the volcano. A couple shallow ones up here at the top as well. Down in the Pahala area, got the typical swarming going on here, latest of 1.8. And, of course, Kilauea Volcano continues its uh, eruptive stage, 3.3 off the coast. Or actually, uh, definitely inland. <laughs> uh, looks like about 6.5 kilometers deep for that 3.3. One up north as well here, north of Mauna Kea. That one coming in overnight, 2.3 at 3.2 kilometers deep. Kind of want to see what's going on with the... Oh, with the volcanoes out here. I'm going to check out Mono Loa real quick and see what we got for an update. I'm sure they put one out this morning here. Uh, first, a real quick check of some seismographs here in the area. Past 20, well, we'll do past 12 hours here. I don't know why it does that. It's kind of odd. It kind of just wants to, uh, there we go. Uh, looking at the latest activity here, about 12 hours of data. Uh, still shows some activity, obviously, uh, and also as noted there by the USGS, so that's good. Uh, looks like that swarm may be starting to pick back up again around the Mauna Loa area with all these signatures being popped up there. Uh, let's see, far as an update goes, this one was put out this morning, time frame, about 9.02. Hawaii time uh, currently not erupting, that's Mauna Loa that is, during the past 24 hours. 46 small magnitude earthquakes, uh, about two to three miles below this caldera. Uh, these were all below 3.0, but still a sign of the ongoing swarm that's taken place here. Doesn't look like anything's changed. Uh, this activity did kind of ramp up about mid-September uh, with an increase of earthquake activity and uh, some inflation as well by uh, some GPS stations. But uh, still just kind of watching it, seeing how this uh, plays out. But again, I think that's going to be making the news here soon. Pacific Ring of Fire. Well, around the Philippine plate here, things kind of kicking up a little bit. Uh, looks like the latest earthquake in this area, 5.3 in the Banda Sea. Just uh, about an hour or so ago there. Prior to that, most of the activity was overnight and last night around the Papua New Guinea area, Japan and the Indonesia region, all some older activity. Not a whole lot going on further westward. We did have one activity, one earthquake there. Last night coming into Romania, 5.1 at 148 kilometers deep into the, uh, kind of looks like the mountainous areas here. Subduction zones all over the place. Uh, 4.1 in Iran yesterday. Aside from that, uh, the Atlantic Ocean looks pretty calm, except for down south there in the South Sandwich Trench. And uh, just kind of keeping an eye on things today here. I think West Coast should still be watching for some activity. Kind of looks like it is leaning towards this area far as the uh, displacement and the pressure um, built up here along the areas of the plate boundary. Um, yeah, so we're definitely going to watch that, see what becomes of it. 
Um, let's see here. Let's check out the Newberry Volcano up in Oregon. Kind of want to see what's going on up there. There was a couple earthquakes here listed uh, on the red, in the red circles there. Nothing big, but um, sometimes, sometimes uh, USGS or PNSN will only put a couple earthquakes up on the map when there's like an, an intense swarm going on. That's why I like to check the raw data. And the raw data does not show too much activity. It's just very small. In fact, I think those are the two small uh, microquakes. Very small, very just barely readable. Uh, I do want to check out previous UTC time. Um, 2.9 near Crescent City. Well, this signature right here is from yesterday. Um, when was this? Had to have been yet. Yeah, this is, at, I believe, that 6.0 that struck off the coast of California. Uh, so it was probably almost a uh, day and a half ago. That would be about the right time. Some S waves traveling through this graph. Uh, but far as localized activity goes right now, uh, there's not definitely not a whole lot here at the Newberry Volcano, which would indicate any type of swarm or any type of uh, unrest. Everything looks pretty calm there. For now at that volcano current conditions on the solar weather chart were red across the board it's been a little while since we've seen that but um, these guys here have a forecast on the three day of the g1 storming conditions uh, over the next couple days and couple nights current conditions are in favor of that because uh, the kp index are up around the five level right now seeing some auroras on the dark side of the sun or the uh, earth I was going to try not to say the moon, but I went ahead and said the sun. Goodness. Um, so yeah, a little bit of a solar activity excitement over on that area of the world. And tonight, uh, I think in the higher latitudes, we'll have a pro probably a pretty good chance of seeing that as well with these unsettled conditions uh, over the next few nights here. Uh, solar, let's check out the solar flare activity. And this is all coming from a coronal hole. Going to be this bad boy right here, 39 which is now kind of turning away from us in the most recent image here. But uh, over the past couple days, uh, past four or five days, it's been sending uh, some charged particles our way, some high speed solar wind stream from that coronal hole, which is the conditions that we are currently seeing. And that is forecasted here uh, over the next couple days. Solar flare activity. Now that's another story, not uh, seeing too much advancement in any of these sunspots um, the magnetic fields looks pretty much stable uh, watching this newer sunspot coming around the bend that may have a little bit of dynamic setup here uh, for a little bit of flaring but nothing looks nothing looks promising at the moment uh, let's see what these guys are forecasting 55 percent chance for c flare 10 percent for the m flare and looks like x flare at one no major proton events expected. Definitely not with this type of setup. And uh, the current, or at least the past couple days of uh, solar X-ray activity shows not a whole lot. Roughly below the sea level uh, threshold there. So nothing major coming our way. Nothing major popping off in the sun currently. So, All right, folks, we'll be back a little bit later. Got quite a bit of stuff to do today. And uh, we'll be monitoring the live stream a little bit. Keep an eye on the West Coast. I am leaving that West Coast earthquake watch up for now. Um, just, I think we'll run that through the rest of the day today. Considering we got newer activity out here along the plate boundary, uh, just off the, uh, just south of Tijuana there into the Baja, California area. A lot of older movement across the globe. Uh, and some newer activity though. Looks like quite a few threes here into the South America region. That latest quake here, 3.5 on the Java Trench, maybe starting to push uh, around this plate boundary. We'll watch that throughout the day today. Have a good one, folks. We'll catch you guys a little bit later on tonight. Oh, it'd probably help here if you guys could see the globe, huh? <laughs> I had that super huge. Goodness. Still kind of a learning curve here uh, with this system. But there's the activity, 3.5. Newest movement here across the uh, Java Trench 
and kind of quiet around the Himalayas currently. So again, we could be pushing that way uh, for some further activity. We'll watch that pretty closely. And of course, be back if anything major happens out here. Have a good one, folks. We'll catch you guys a little bit later. Peace out.